Noah. <laughs> and uh, I got them from Bobby. Z bar or Z bracing, Z beams, whatever you want to call them. But Z gonna go up on top. And uh, we got two walk boards. Them are actually ramps out of a uh, back of a box truck. So we're gonna move one to the other end. I'm gonna move this whole rack over toward that wall. But we should be able to work with that. We're gonna start getting these uh, Z bars on. All right, show you more. All right, we're getting ready to put this. Z channels up and I'm not gonna film a bunch of this because uh, way too many safety Nazis on YouTube so Noah's one of them I think Noah's the one that comes on there and complains and says I do stuff unsafe ain't it no. come on I know no. all right we got Danny over here we're gonna put him down weld them on enough to at least hold them and then maybe burn some holes in them put some bolts so Working on the building again. I uh, was supposed, hoping to have it done this past weekend, but I had some stuff come up and didn't get, a, get to get it done. Okay, let me explain what's going on here. We've done things a whole lot different than what I told you I was going to do. The original plan was to take these uh, tower pieces I had apart. And build basically, you know, the... I don't know what you want to call them. Anyway, the beams to go from one uh, truss to the other. And I was going to do that. And then I was going to put a fake truss right in here. Not a fake one, but you know, a, a lighter one just to hold center up. Because with that being uh, a little over 18 foot span, you know, just from the edge of the truss to the other edge of the truss, uh, I didn't want them bowing. But Bobby come by and he said, well, I've got Z channel or or z framing or whatever you call this and uh and i don't know the terms for this so forgive me but uh but anyway he said that it you know it was made to span 20 feet so i got them from him and we took apart the towers and bolted it together and as you can see made a uh scaffolding out of it now them two walk boards up there are actually uh out of the back of uh box trucks where you slide the the ramps out i guess you'd call them and uh anyway they uh worked out real well for that so we've just about got them up and done i've got uh two more laying on the ground here we got to go to the outside edge and cut that tree back and uh we're going to get them up there and once we get them up we can start putting the tent on i've got some in roll insulation i'm going to put on there first and then put the tent on i'm hoping that's going to keep it from sweating in here bad but uh, yeah, the uh, the towers. Once I took them apart, and I, you know, I looked at them, all the bolt holes and stuff in them. You know, they were uh, pretty much like a big giant erector set. So I figured I'd just take it apart, and that's what I've done, and it worked out really well. And everything bolted together. We didn't have to drill any holes whatsoever, uh, as you can see. And we've got a mess here where we've been working, but uh, and you know, I was able to put the corner bracing on top and bottom and we just like i said just hurried up and bolted it back together now we used every one of the the 14 foot pieces and then uh some of the small ones but i've got a a pile i'll show you i've got a pile of small stuff left and still got a bucket of bolts left and some other pieces and parts but anyway worked out really well so the plan is once i get this finished up up top get you know get our z braces on and uh the 10 i'm going to take this out and put this as a lean to 14 foot out beside it so it's going to actually be another building so you know we're just uh sort of repurposing it and uh that way we'll have uh we'll be able to put 10 over top of it and it'll, it'll just be like a lean to off the side and uh, that galvanized should hold up really well but anyway, uh, I'm going to get at this, go ahead and try to get them other two beams up there and get them welded down and then start throwing some tin up there. I'm hoping, I've got to look at my tin I've got. I've got some tin that's rusted on one end and I'm going to have to cut every, probably every sheet of it. But I'm thinking it's 20 foot and this is uh, only 12 foot, you know, on each side lengthwise. So, you know, I should be okay. And, you know, we'll leave a little bit of an overhang. So, uh, anyway, we're going to work on that and 
I'll show you as we go. All right, here's my stack of ten. I've got I've got a bunch here. These top pieces from here to there are only twelve foot, and they're rusty on each end. And I don't think I can make them work. Uh, I'd have to set them down too far, and I don't think my ridge cap's going to be wide enough. But uh, the ones below it are all longer. Uh, I think I've got I think I've got enough to do it. Hopefully I do. The tin's not that bad. It looks bad sitting here, but uh, I don't have much money at all in that tin, though, so I can't really complain. So it uh, looks like I'm going to have to spend a little money on screws, but besides that, you know, we really haven't had to spend any money on this ordeal so far. So anyway, we'll get these other two rails up and start getting tin on, and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, figured... Uh, it's going to take about 14 pieces of tin to do this building. Maybe a little more because I think I went, yeah, I think 16 pieces because I went 24 feet that way. Let me get out of this sun. Go to the other side right here, right here. I got two foot overhang on each side. So I'm figuring 16 sheets of tin and I just counted. I've got over 40 sheets here. So I'm sure I can go through and pick and choose and get enough to, to do it and make it look good. That's a good thing. All right. Okay, building's up. All but the tan. And a little bit more welding. Uh, here's the tan. We're cutting it now. Trying to get enough pieces out of uh, a bunch of scrap tan that I had. So uh, it's coming together. I'll hopefully have it up maybe tomorrow, have it finished up. We'll see what goes on. Okay, folks, I was working on this late yesterday evening and uh got six more sheets of tin to put on as you can see i put insulation in it uh part of this was some that bobby gave me part of it was some i bought but uh it's not real thick insulation but my understanding is uh and i don't know for sure but you know i've got a lot of sweating problems in my other shop where uh humidity and stuff you know you get everything wet well i don't have any intentions right now of closing this thing in but if i do later I thought maybe it would be a good idea to go ahead and get some insulation up there and uh, even the thin stuff because it's supposed to help a lot. So I've got insulation and what I've done was is I, I put it on one side of the building and taped it and then I ran it across above standing on our walk boards there. And then uh, as you can see I just took the excess and just hung pieces of angle to help hold it tight. Now, I didn't do it on this first piece, and this first piece, that was the length that it was, so I just left it long. Uh, and it didn't come out as good. That constant weight on it made it, you know, work really good and stay tight. So, you know, that if you're going to do it, I recommend doing it like that. Now, uh, like I said, I got six more sheets of tin to do. And once them are done, uh, ridge cap, and that's basically it. I'll go up and cut this... Uh, insulation you know to even up but uh everything's worked out good and uh the walk boards worked out really good and uh i'll be taking this probably taking it down i don't know how i'm gonna do it yet but i'm gonna use this steel definitely gonna use this steel to build a lean to off the left side of this and uh probably something i can put here to cover i got some engines and stuff i need to get covered anyway so that's probably what we'll do, and uh, everything's worked out good besides that, but <clears throat> what I was saying is yesterday, uh, or yesterday evening I was working on it, and a uh, thunderstorm came. I had to get down. Luckily, I just knew when I came out this morning that uh, that last piece of insulation, which is not, uh, no tent on top of it, just barely on the edge, I guess, but I was, you know, I was just sure that that piece was going to be ripped off, and uh sagging down at the least but you know it didn't do anything to it so i've gotten really lucky with that now i put a, a two foot overhang on each end and i didn't run the insulation out to there and uh and of course i've got to go up there and caulk all the holes there's nail holes and stuff from this used tin but but it's coming along and uh you know we'll get this framing taken down and uh out of the way and at least i can get my car in here where It'll be good. I can let my wife get her uh, car for it back. So uh, I'm gonna get at this, try to get the last six sheets on and maybe run and get some ridge cap today. There's a place here local in Sanford that keeps it in stock. And uh, 
then I can uh, officially be finished with this deal. It's taken a lot longer than I wanted, and uh, the heat, it's been pretty rough, plus towing. Uh, I've carried this ladder around this thing probably uh, a mile or two, and I climbed it and up and down, you know, I'm sure over a hundred times, and it's just, uh, you know, a lot of work. But anyway, it's come out, it's fine. You know, for, for old scrap stuff, it, it really worked out pretty good. So, all right, ended up being, uh, I guess we're 24 by 24 now with, uh, you know, with the overhangs. So, you know, decent size anyway. All right, let me get at it. Okay, folks, uh, she's as done as she's gonna get. All the tens on, all the ridge caps on. The only thing I've got left that probably gonna do I've got some nail holes that was in that old tent that I've got a patch uh, see if I can get back to where you can see it maybe you can see the roof up there it's just used tin and I've got plenty of tin left over so later on if I decide to do the sides I'll I'll have plenty to work with but uh anyway there it is uh, we're going to get that scaffolding down that we built inside and try to decide what we're going to do with it. Uh, I'm definitely going to probably build off the side of this, but we'll, uh, we'll get it figured out. But uh, appreciate everybody watching, and until uh, next time, bye.